What's up, everybody? Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video. And in this video, we got to break down the brand new Valorant rank distribution. Where did people move and where did people end up after the Ascendant rank was added in and everything was scrambled? There's a lot of changes we got to talk about. But the Game Leap website is the best place to easily jump ranks. If you are in silver and want to get to gold, gold want to get to diamond, Ascendant want to get to immortal, there is so many tips and tricks that we got for you. So go check it out right now down below. Now, as you know, with the Ascendant rank being added in, everything got moved quite dramatically. For the most people, everyone's gonna move up quite a bit of ranks, but if you're closer towards the higher ranks, like Immortal, and in some cases, even Diamond, you would either get moved up or down depending on where Ascendant was slotted in. But that being said, what this really did is it balanced out the total number of players in every single rank. Because when you add a new rank, now there's gonna be less players in every single rank, and that's basically what we got. Some people got shifted here or there, but your rank should be more accurate. Maybe not now, but it will be as we keep progressing throughout this new system and into the next act and things like that. That being said, what people consider high elo and low elo and what is good and bad and everything has changed. Like a plat one now is not the same as a plat one was before the 5.0 changes. So let's break down and talk about what these new percentages are. First off, let's talk about Radiant and Immortal. So Radiant, you're in the 0.02% of players. Immortal is 0.1, Immortal 2 is 0.1% of the players, and Immortal 3 is 0.3% of the players. So if you add up all the numbers, it is 0.52% of all the players are in Immortal or beyond. Not even a single percent, literally half a percent, about half a percent are all the players in Immortal. If you are in Immortal or beyond, you are like half of the top 1%, which is really, really different than it was before. Before, Immortal went all the way up to potentially the 3%, so Immortal has actually shrunk a lot, especially Immortal 1 and Immortal 2, they have shrunk a ridiculous amount, and like right into the same, of course, but the Immortal rank as a whole, a lot of players got pushed out of it towards Ascendant, and some players got even pushed even lower than that. But let's talk about Ascendant for a second. Ascendant is 0.5% for Ascendant 3, 0.9% for Ascendant 2, and 1.4% of the population is in Ascendant 1. Now, if we take that Ascendant 3, that 0.5%, and we add it to all of the player base in Immortal 1, 2, 3, and Radiant, it's just over 1% of the player base. That means that if you're in Ascendant 3, you are still the top 1% of the player base. And I would say that Ascendant 3 is actually all what was in Immortal before, and even Immortal was probably the top of Ascendant 2 before, but then we talk about Ascendant 2 and Ascendant 1, those combined make up 2.3% more on top of that. So the total of Ascendant 1 through Radiant is 3.4% of the population. That's the top 3.4% of all the people that play the game of Valorant. That means you're still quite a bit sub 5% if you're even in Ascendant at all. But we go down further to the Diamond rank. And the Diamond rank has quite a bit more people than a lot of the other ranks. The Diamond rank actually has 8.1%. When we compare that to Ascendant that has sub 3% of the player base in it, and then Immortal that has only 0.5% of the player base in it, Diamond is pretty freaking big. And if you're in the Diamond rank, then it doesn't really matter what rank you're in, you're around the 10% mark as far as percentile of players. Like you're in the top 10% of players, about if you're in Diamond 1, you might be just outside of that. And if you're in Diamond 3, you're, you're quite a bit under that, but that's kind of the range that we're talking about here. Now let's actually move things over a little bit and talk about Platinum. So if you're Platinum 2, you're in the top 20%. If you're Platinum 1, you're in the top 25% of players. And the midpoint is actually between Silver 3 and Gold 1. If you are gold one, you're in the top 46% of players, but if you're in silver three, you're in the top 53.7% of players. So between silver three and gold one is where the midway point. So if you are gold or better, congratulations, you are better than half the players that play Valorant in competitive. Now we can look at this graph to see the distribution, and I want you to just really notice how many players are at the lower end of the spectrum, right? That's where the bulk of the player base is. When you're in Diamond, there's a lot more players than Ascendant, and Ascendant have a lot more players than Immortal, and it goes 
down and Cascades down. But especially when you look at this graph, you can see that Silver is by far the most stacked rank. That's where the majority of players are. But if you were in Silver pre-ranked distribution changes, then you probably got pushed up a little bit either to higher Silver or to Gold potentially. If you were in Gold, you could have gotten like pushed to higher Gold or Plat, at least when things settle. But this is what the new distribution looks like. And overall, I do think that adding more rank to Valorant just makes it so your rank is you know, more specified. There's more nuance and difference between each rank if you add more of them in, in general. And I think that that's a good thing. But we're gonna have to wait and see long-term implications of this new system. I really wanna hear your opinion about what your rank is now, what your rank was before, and how have you felt ever since the new changes went through? Let me know what you feel and why. I'm really interested in getting more data from the community. But thank you so much for coming by. I hope this kind of explains all the changes that have happened. Go check out the Game Link website if you are unhappy with your rank and you wanna climb. But that's all I got for you today. Thank you and see you next time.